Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This month I've been painting roosters and I have to say they make quite the most delightful painting subjects. If you were feeling a little bit down in the dumps, this would be just the thing to lift your spirits instantly. It's hard not to be smiling when you're playing with a rainbow of colours in your paint box and painting a happy little fellow like this little chicken that I'm painting here. In fact, it's so much fun that I want to make sure that I've given you every opportunity I possibly can to find out for yourselves just what a relaxing endeavour it can be. So I put together a little painting project that you could do with me if you wanted to and I'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end and give you the links in the description box if you want to paint along with me. The inspiration for this particular painting that I'm doing now came from a photo that one of my lovely Instagram friends sent me. When she saw that I was painting roosters this month she sent me a whole lot of photos of her own chickens and they're absolutely delightful as you'll see I'm sure when uh, this little guy is finished. Aren't people so lovely? Very generous of her to, to send me these photos and her and I both agreed that this chap with his lovely speckles on his chest is quite delightful and made for perfect inspiration. These birds have been a wonderful chance to play with colour this month. you think that a chicken is kind of a boring brown bird and this fellow is kind of grey, but actually browns and greys can be really interesting colours because they are really made up of so many other colours. And as you can see from the grey speckles that I have put in this bird here, any chance I can, I sneak in a bit of purple. So my greys often tend to be uh, rather purpley. And I think that's, that's part of the fun. You know, you can play around with the colours you see uh, and you can add in colours that aren't there, colours that you see or colours that you wish you saw there. Um, and I love the way those gold uh, and browns sit against the greys and blues. You come up with so many colour combinations. Sometimes I, I start with the, the colour combinations first, playing with the paints in my paint box until I find the ones that I think will go together well. And other times you can just begin painting and see where the mood takes you and you come across a colour combination that you love in the process of painting. It's kind of a discovery and how fun is that? And I, I always think that it's a good idea to give your subject something to stand on. So I've splashed in a bit more of that purple grey. It's Moon Glow by Daniel Smith, if you're wondering, I think. Uh, because that area underneath him makes him seem grounded uh, rather than being floating around uh, in the air somewhere. So now that he's got a place to stand, I'm kind of looking around and seeing whether I want to add anything else. And he's so lively and energetic that I just can't quite resist uh, adding something else. And the little something else that I add is one of those things that some people love and some people hate. But I have to say that once you start doing it, it's another kind of addictive part of the painting process. Can you guess what it is? I'm going to show you in a minute, just after I finish his eye. See, that's quite important. If I had been impatient and put in his eye while that was still damp, his eye would be way too big. Oh, there it was. It's that splattering. That's what I mean. I love the splattering because it gives you the feeling of the energy of the bird. Some people hate it, but I love the way it finished it off. Hope you join me painting roosters. See you next time.